So this is June 23rd, 2024. It's outside a synagogue in Los Angeles where pro-Palestinian protesters showed up because of a real estate event that's happening in a synagogue. It wasn't, no one was worshiping at that moment as the Western media and some of our elected officials would like you to believe. Now, one thing that's interesting in this is they're looking for people for Anglo neighborhoods. And basically it's, they need people that are English speaking to show up. So they cater towards like United States, UK, Canada, places like that, very white places. And so while they have trouble always trying to fill up that space so they can push Palestinians out, they're catering now to an English speaking audience so they can get them in there because not everybody's speaking Hebrew. And so this is, you know, just uh, another attempt to basically fill up that space so you can push out the Palestinian people and it's still not working for them. Now, like always, politicians speak up about this stuff, right? We got the president all the way down to more of the local people here. And these people don't ever speak about the Palestinian people, at least from what I've seen, but they're going to speak up, you know, for these guys. And I'm going to show you what some of these guys have been doing. But as you can see, with like Ted Lieu, the congressman here, he gets paid a lot of money from APAC to shut the hell up. And that's what happens. And that's what's one of the main, main problems with our country, but also just locally here. Now, this pro-Israeli man is all excited to fight, and I'm going to show you some scenes leading up to the fight and then his fight. Uh, he didn't do too well. Also, early on, pro-Israeli people on social media were saying that the pro-Palestinian people were beating up a woman on the ground. This is their woman. So they lied. Or they at least spread misinformation. So here we have before. He jumped a man from behind who was trying to protect some people in a vehicle. And then we have the after. Now let's check out this old man who is all about peace. Let's see what piece of metal he has in his hand. So here we have a pro-Palestinian protester being surrounded and being assaulted by a bunch of pro-Israeli groups. Probably far from LAPD, right? No, they're just right or right. They're like five feet away. But uh, as you can see, as this develops, uh, police don't do shit. And... Uh, all they do is watch, basically. So I guess they did a little bit. They watched. Then they eventually take the man to safety, and then they arrest him, the man who got assaulted. So I'll show you a different angle here, too. So as you can see here, the man who was assaulted right in front of LAPD was then arrested. So now I'm going to show you several videos of how they treat women. I've seen a common theme in these events that I've been going to. Uh, they always like to go after the women. One of them is a woman journalist, the one who gets her phone stolen.
don't think I heard you. I don't think, I don't know. They got, they got it. Get back 
So now we're towards the end of this whole situation and what commonly happens I've noticed at these events is basically as the pro-Palestinian people leave the pro-Israeli people follow them to basically assault them more you know away from the cops not that the cops are doing anything anyways. So this is just one of many of the innocent people who are being harassed by the pro-Palestinian people. Now this guy and many others are also from UCLA. Remember that event where only one person has been arrested, and that was only because Representative Omar said it during a congressional hearing to the UCLA chancellor, why has no one been arrested? That 18-year-old was arrested, and now he's going to serve in the IDF, So, which is perfect. He's a thug. He's a criminal. He fits in with the IDF mentality. So anyway, so yeah. So as of right now, we have one person arrested of the 200-plus who assaulted the encampment at UCLA. So, But she wants to protect these guys. The creator of heaven and earth gave the land of Israel to the Jewish people for an eternal inheritance. God gave the land of Israel to the Jewish people forever. Those who bless the Jews are blessed by God, and those who curse the Jews are cursed by God. Redemption is coming. Increase in acts of charity, goodness and kindness, and fulfill the seven Noahide laws as a preparation for the redemption. <laughs> Get it, get it, get it. 
So that's more of the videos that the media will not show. So anyway, so this is generational news. Here's some sources that I pulled this videos from and uh, continue to disseminate this so we can share the truth because a lot of people don't actually get to see the truth. 